Good morning. It's day 30. Can you believe it? We are already at the end of this 30 day flexible body, flexible mind morning challenge. I hope you guys have been enjoying this. Um, I can't believe it's already coming to an end, but I'm excited and, and I'm so grateful that you've decided to spend this month with me. Hopefully you found it beneficial. So for our last practice, this is another 10 minute slow flow morning yoga class. And our final intention that we're working with is integrate. So really focusing on integration, integrating all of the work that you've done over the past 30 days on your yoga mat, as well as through our daily challenges. Hopefully you've been doing those as well. So we are actually going to begin standing up for this one. And we're going to start just in a ragdoll fold at the top of the mat. So you can have your feet fairly wide with your knees bent, maybe holding onto your elbows as you sway a little side to side, maybe turning your head a little, just letting go. When you think of this word of integration, what comes to mind for you? How is this relevant? What is it that you feel you need to integrate maybe a little bit more? Take another full deep breath here. And let's release our hands down to the mat, bend your knees and come all the way up to stand inch by inch here. And we're gonna find our goddess pose or sometimes called temple pose. So stepping the feet wide with your feet turned out at about a 45 degree angle. We're gonna circle with the legs straight. So just circle your arms all the way up and as you exhale, bend your knees and draw your palms down towards your chest a few more times like this. So inhale, stretch and lift up. Exhale, integrating and gathering that in. Keep squeezing your knees open. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Last one here, inhale. And as you bend down, you're going to hold and just bring both hands over the tops of your knees. You can use your hands to help push your knees open a little bit more here. And I'm just rocking gently side to side, stretching a little bit more through the hips. And we can add a twist from here. Just drop your right shoulder down, left shoulder back. And switching sides, left shoulder down, right shoulder back. Making your way through to center, let's push to straighten the legs. And we're gonna find warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. So my left foot will now be parallel to the shorter edge of my mat. My right toes point forward as I bend into my right knee and open up through the arms. Pushing evenly through both feet. Let's find exalted warrior, left hand down, right arm up, a big side body stretch. Coming all the way back through to center. Straighten your right leg into your triangle pose, Trikonasana, send your hips back, reach that right arm all the way forward and down. Left arm stretches up to the sky, Roll your left shoulder back, roll your left hip back. Pushing your feet into the floor, let's rise on up with your hands on your hips. You're gonna turn that right foot in. So both feet are parallel to the shorter edges of the mat here. And we're gonna fold all the way down. As you bring your fingertips to the floor, I want you to start walking your hands over towards your right leg, grabbing a hold of whatever is accessible here as you try to fold in, bringing your head towards your right knee. And 
and you might choose to stay here. You can make this a little bit more intense by bending into your left knee. And straighten your left leg. Come all the way back through to center. Walk your hands out in front of you. Hands to your hips, push your feet into the floor, come all the way up. And we're gonna redo that sequence to the other side. So I'm just gonna turn, you can do warrior two towards the back of your mat. So left toes point towards the back. Your right foot is still parallel to the shorter edge. And as you bend into that left knee, you're just going to open up through your arms. Keep squeezing that left knee open, palms facing down. <sighs> Reverse, right hand down, left arm reaches up. Big side body stretch. Back into your warrior two. Straighten your left leg, triangle pose, hips back. Lean that left hand forward until you feel that point of resistance. Then you can drop the left hand down and extend your right arm up. Roll your right shoulder back. And you don't have to look up. You can keep your gaze down. And we can push into the feet to come all the way back up. And now turn those left toes in. We're going to come back into that forward fold. So legs wide. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, maintain this length along the spine, even as you tilt and fold. And this time we're gonna walk our hands over towards our left leg and our left foot, grabbing a hold of what you can, folding down, trying to bring our head to the knee. And breathing deeply here. And if you did it on the first side, you can also add a bend, this time bending your right knee. And straighten the right leg, walk your hands back through to center, lift up through your chest, hands at your hips, push your feet into the floor, come all the way up. And let's stand at the top of the mat. We'll take a little flow from here, feet hip width distance apart, inhale, arms reach up, exhale, fold it down. You can definitely bend your knees for this. Halfway lift, flat back. And plant your palms, step the feet back. We're gonna lower down to our belly. Bhujangasana, your cobra pose. Push into the tops of the feet. Elbows are bent and hugging in. And let's press back, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Feet are hip width distance apart. Palms are about shoulder width distance apart or so. Bend your knees as much as you would like. Hmm. Big breath in here. And let's drop our knees to the floor. Send your hips back towards your heels. My Pretty much one of my top five favorite little morning yoga poses and moves here. It's like that side camel variation. I know I've done it in one or two of these classes from the challenge. Left hand goes behind you, and you're going to reach your right arm up and over. Pick up and lift those hips. And release. Same thing to the other side. Right hand down, left arm up and back. And setting your hips down, let's come into our rabbit pose. So grab a hold of your heels as you bring your forehead down to the mat. And then you can lift your hips up as high as they'll go while keeping the hold of your heels. And you're more so rocking towards the top of your head. <sighs> Big breath in here. And relax your hips back down. Stay in this little seed version of child's pose, balasana. <sighs> Coming back to our intention to integrate. Really consider 
this journey that you've been on with me for the past 30 days. I really do hope you're super proud of yourself for sticking with it, for showing up. Especially if you've also been doing the daily challenges. Take a few more breaths here. Just internally showering yourself with love, with praise, with validation. Really honor and recognize the time you set for yourself every day for 30 days. And we can come up. And one last time together, we're going to sit up tall. Join our hands together, Anjali Mudra, prayer at the heart. And let's chant Om together. Inhale to chant. Breathe in. Om. Thank you so very much for doing not only this 10-minute yoga flow with me, but all of my previous 10-minute morning yoga flows with me. I am super appreciative of you doing this challenge. Remember, you just have one more last little part left. So if you go watch part two, the other video, your flexible mind video, it'll give you your last daily challenge themed around integration. So really a great last challenge to kind of seal everything and tie a bow, wrap a bow <laughs> on this challenge that we've been doing together. Please subscribe, leave me a comment, and even though I won't have any more of classes for this Flexible Body, Flexible Mind Challenge, I do have like hundreds of other morning yoga classes on my channel. So if you have enjoyed practicing 10 minutes with me every morning, I've got like a million more, not literally a million, but I've got a lot more that you can select and follow along with. So hopefully you can make this um, a true daily habit. All right. Thank you so much. And hopefully, hopefully I'll practice again with you very soon.